everyone! Welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are very excited to be unboxing our Sister vs. Sister BoxyCharm by Ipsy unboxings for July of 2024. Now, if you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm by Ipsy, it is a monthly beauty subscription where each month you get five full-size beauty products for $30 a month plus a $1.99 handling fee. Out of those five full-size beauty products, two of those are power picks that BoxyCharm by Ipsy selects for you. And then three of the products you can choose yourself if you make your selections on choice day, which is the first through third of the month. So today we have our paid for version. So I paid for both of these boxes, but earlier in the month I did also unbox this and do a try on with a PR one that was sent to me free for review. So if you want to see a third variation, you can check that box out as well. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina. My name is Rachel. She's my sister. And on my channel, we unbox lots of different subscription boxes. So if you like beauty, you like subscription boxes, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's dive in. We are so happy that you're here hanging out with us today unboxing these boxes. I genuinely don't remember what I got this month. We'll see, if we'll find out in a minute. But I do remember not being as excited with the choices as I was for last month. Same. All right, so every month the box comes with a little magazine newspaper. On the front it shows the theme for the month, which this month is Passport in Glow. Very summery and fitting. Um, then on the inside it just has different information about here's what you can add onto your cart and little things like that. And on the back, it's a sneak peek of August's lineups. All right, so we're gonna start with the Power Picks, which is the products that Ipsy chose for us, or BoxyCharm by Ipsy chose for us, and they actually chose the same things for us. So the first Power Pick that we both received is from Danessa Myrick's Beauty, and this is their Evolution Powder, which retails for $25. So it's a priming, smoothing, setting face powder. Ours is in one, which I think is just like the white, like the basic one. Yeah. Oh, it does have like a little, ooh, it has one of those little pads. I'm not gonna open mine yet. Are you gonna open? Oh yeah, you just got powder everywhere. <laughs> I didn't try to open it. I barely pressed on the sticker and then a big whoop of white powder came out. So. Ooh, okay. It's got a little bouncy. Too. It does feel like kind of bouncy where it is. I know. So I well, don't be, press too hard. I'm thinking there might be one of those like screens for it potentially. Yeah, which I personally don't like. Oh, see, I like them. Um, But yeah, you can't really go wrong with just like a translucent powder. And Danessa Myers is a really nice brand. Yeah, so I'm excited about this because I yeah. use powder every single time I do my makeup, so it's always useful. Yeah, I feel like I'll, I would use this up pretty quick though. Yeah. All right, so the next power pick that they chose for both of us is from Laura Geller. It's the Seasonless Staples Wildflower Wishes 14 Well Eyeshadow Palette, um, and this retails for $45. Katrina actually got it in her um, PR. PR. So I'm gonna leave mine unsealed. And I did do a try-on in that video if you do wanna see a try-on of that, but this is what it looks like, a little mirror there. And then those are the shades. I actually really like the color yeah. story of the palette, and I really liked, the, I think I remember really liking the way that the look turned out that I did with this palette. I do like, I don't, I don't know if I've liked all Laura Geller's um, shadows, but I, I thought they turned out really well. And I, this feels summer, it feels spring, it feels fall all at once. Yeah. Like it kind of has like the green takes me fall, but then it's like kind of spring. So like I do, I feel like this is a very versatile palette. I actually think what makes it not versatile is the packaging of it with the True. flowers. But for me, like, yeah, I, it's not a bad palette. Yeah, no, I like that it has a bunch of different shades. I'm not big on wearing a ton of eyeshadow, and when I do, it's typically like a neutral like this one, and then I deepen my crease with like another neutral like that. So I like that this has neutrals, but it also has some shimmers, but it's overall pretty basic. It's nothing crazy, but yeah, I don't know. It's just the perfect like basic palette and you could do a lot of different looks with it. Well, I'd say it's a perfect basic palette, but with color options that are not yeah. just completely nude. So yeah. I like it. All right, now on to the items that we chose. The first thing that I chose is from Lithe Beauty and this is their UHD Brow Sculpt, which retails for $22. So it's a brow shaping wax with sculpting brush. Now, like I said, the choices this month weren't my most favorite ever, and I don't know, I, I like gel for my brows. I don't normally use a wax, but you know, 
when in Rome, <laughs> I just thought maybe you found, I know that this type of thing is in right now. Oh, it's like really like, yeah, anyway, it's a wax. You got your little spoolie. It has like one of the little flat sides as well. So yeah, I don't know how much I'll ever use it because I don't use a lot of um, gel versus, well, maybe this is a gel or a wax. So it says wax, but then on the back it says gel. I don't even know. It says a brow gel that lifts, tames, and sculpts stubborn hair. So yeah. It's cool, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so the very first thing that I chose is from African Botanics. It's their mineral cleansing mask and it retails for $85. So it's, let's see what it says. Oof, 85. Yes, she bougie. Well, it's just a mask. It doesn't really say anything other than it's a mineral purifying clay mask. Yeah, it gives like charcoal. I think it's charcoal, which gives like poor, like cleansing type things. Yeah. So yeah. I'll be honest. I didn't know what to choose and this is just what I ended up with. I don't really use masks much. My skin does best with the, the bare minimum. So I don't use a ton of extra stuff, but I don't know, it's a great mask. It's a great brand, it's $85, but I didn't really know what to choose. There was nothing else I really wanted or needed. It sounds like we need to do like a face mask sleep overnight. Mm. <laughs> All right, up next I got a LaRousse brush set. This is their Kayla four piece eye makeup brush set that comes in this little um, cute little scalloped edge bag. And inside you get four brushes. Now I did get this in my PR box, but my PR box came later this month than it normally does. I like when the PR box gets there like before choice day or like on choice day so I can see what I got and then make sure I don't get the same things. Um, because did I need a whole nother brush set and bag? No, but I love the Roos brushes and so I'm definitely not upset about it. I did use some of these brushes in the try on video as well and I really enjoyed them. All right, so up next I chose a product from Lava Beauty. It's the No Chill Mascara in Brown and it retails for $32. I'm actually really excited about this. I've always wanted to try like a dark chocolate brown mascara. I've heard really good things about them. A lot of people say that they look better than black. I don't know, never tried it, but now's my chance. So I'm excited to use a brown mascara. The packaging to me looks really, really bougie. I like it and it's like good quality. I don't know, it feels oh, good. Oh, it does feel heftier than I thought it yeah. would. Yeah, so let's see what the brush looks like. Okay, it is synthetic, which I normally don't prefer synthetic, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> they are shorter little stubs. So yeah, I'm really curious to see what dark brown mascara would look like because I feel like you wouldn't really be able to notice on a first glance. Like it's going to blend in, but it might add a little oomph. I feel I like know. it gives you more of like a natural look, but it's still in a really like beautified way. Yeah, exactly. Natural beauty. <laughs> All right, the last item that I chose is from Borboletta, and it is their Breakdown Oil-Free Makeup Remover, which retails for $20. I did not know what to pick. This is not normally what I use, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of this because I use like Pond's Cold Cream <laughs> to remove my makeup. <laughs> I do like a super old-fashioned thing, but I just feel like that's the thing that gets my makeup off and nothing else does. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll give this a try. It's really cute. It just, it's a oil-free makeup remover. And yeah, you just dunk, dunk, I guess, onto some like a cotton pad or something and then remove your makeup. Again, it's not my way of removing makeup, so it's gonna be out of my comfort zone. I don't know if I'll get into it or not. Um, but yeah, and it is lash safe as well. All right, so up next, I chose a product from Cinta London. It's their Cheeky Flush, um, and it retails for $27. The color or the shade is in this time. So this is what the little palette looks like. Oh, Ooh. she's darker than I thought. In the picture, it looks different but I'm not mad at it. I, that's a, the mauve type of blush that I like. I, yeah, I feel like it's nice. Well, I like that. Um, it, the, it looks used. <laughs> I don't think it is used, but it definitely doesn't look new. Yeah. <laughs> like, it it, like, I think it's just the way that it, the compact was pressed. Yeah, I agree. It's fine. I'm not going to think about it too hard, <laughs> but it is a pretty shade. Um, this was again another product where I was like, or a section where I was like, I don't know what I want, but I do use blush. So I was like, we'll go with the blush then. So I'm not mad about it. I think it's a really pretty shade. Um, and yeah, it's just a simple powder blush. <laughs> All right, so that was everything in each of our BoxyCharm boxes. So now we're gonna give our boxes a rating out of five. So if we like the product and we're gonna use it, we'll give it a point. If we do not like it, not for us, 
zero points. And then a half a point for products where we want to try it out a little bit more or we're kind of on the fence. I am going to give a point to the powder, a half a point to the brow gel, just cause like I don't know if I'll actually use it. I'm gonna give a point to the palette, a point to the brushes, and I'm probably gonna give zero points to this because I just really have a strong feeling that it's just not gonna work out for me. So that was three and a half out of five for BoxyCharm. I feel like a three and a half or a three, like I just feel like meh. Last month was a five out of five, but this month I'm just like, I don't know, it just feels random and I just really, the choices were tough to pick. Yeah, I agree. Let's see how mine compares. I'm gonna go ahead and give a point to the powder. I'm going to give, I'm gonna give this a half a point. I think it's a really nice palette, but I have so many eyeshadow palettes open right now and I don't use them often. So I don't think I'll get much use out of it. So I'm gonna give that a half a point. I'm going to give a point to the mask as I, I, I wanna use it. I wanna like it. So hopefully my skin agrees. I'm gonna give a point to the mascara. Really excited to try that out. And I'm actually gonna give a point to the blush too because I really like the shade. So that's four and a half out of five. That's not what I was expecting considering when I did choices I was like I did not have an easy time doing that not really excited about anything But here they are in person and I'm like, ooh, I like this stuff. So four out of five I probably feel more like a four, but that's still really close. So I'm happy about it. Whose box do you like better? I think I'd still go with mine personally. I think I might go with yours over mine to be honest I mean, I probably could have selected those same things, yeah. but now that I'm staring at both of them in front of me, like, mm, I kind of like your box. I think part of it is, too, because I got this in PR. Yeah. Had I not, maybe I would have stuck with mine. But mm. definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Whose boxy charm did you like better? What did you get in your boxy charm? We always love to hear that down in the comments below. And if you want to see a third variation of this box, again, I do have my PR video up from earlier this month. If you like the video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And we'll see you in our next video.